Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take another look at the Hedge Trimmer here, otherwise known as the Tethra. Tetra? Eh, however that's pronounced. First time I seen this I did think it looked like a Hedge Trimmer, and I do refer to it as the Hedge Trimmer. It's just a force of habit. Um, it's not really that impressive on the crits or the status, the fire rate. It's good, but it could be better. And this thing came with absolutely no polarities at all. So we formatted three times, we dropped in three V polarities. If you're going to go for four, I would recommend a dash for one of the elements for the damage 2.0 system. We put them three in there for basically serration, split chamber and heavy caliber, which is damage, damage and multi shot. <laughs> then we just threw uh, fast hands, um, ammo mutator in there, and then we have enough points left over for any of the elemental combinations this is why i'm saying if you're going to do it again i would do a dash because mo almost at least one of the elements from the combinations requires a dash because hellfire needs it infested clip needs it and stormbringer needs it and you could even swap it there's the corrosive element type there and even that leaves two points left over so obviously the depolarity would go well in this. I probably will do that, probably when I get round to it. <laughs> I've got other weapons I'm working on, so I kind of move from weapon to weapon. So with that in there, the fire rate stayed the same. I would love to drop a fire rate mod in this, which is why I've, I would add a depolarity, a dash polarity to this. And the puncture has gone up. It did turn out to be a pretty powerful weapon, actually. Fire rate on this weapon would have been a really nice idea, taking care of things like this. I mean, uh, fire rate on any fully automatic rifle goes really well. But just fit the quick hands, fast hands, it works just as well. Okay, you're not going to be taking out the enemies really quickly, but fast hands, it kind of counters it. What are you? 33! And he's dead. I mean, this weapon, as it is, does a lot of damage. That fourth polarity would come in really handy because you would be able to add that fourth mod, or that missing mod, I should say, because we do have that empty slot in there. But as it sits right now, it's three formers, and this thing, it just, well, it just melts it. Almost everything that you throw at. I'm not going to be trading in my uh, Bratton Prime for it anytime soon. But that's just a uh, personal choice because, well, I can't explain it. I think it's just got a thing about the Bratton. I think it's because the Vandal's still haunting me. <laughs> we'll get that one day. It is my uh, end game mission. Get a hold of the Bratton Vandal. Because it will come around eventually. Anyway, sidetracked. <laughs> it does do a real nice amount of damage. I mean, 27s. They're actually killing us much quicker than we're killing them. But for a weapon that is pretty cheap to build, you don't have to go farming forever in the void to get a hold of it like the bolt or It still does a nice amount of damage. I mean, eventually, like all weapons, it will hit that point where it's just not doing enough damage and becomes pretty useless. Even the bolt or prime has that level where you just can't kill anything anymore. Breeding ground sure does that one. Turns out level 200 uh, infested. Yeah, they're pretty hard to kill no matter how hard your weapon is. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.